most guys would agree that Wing Chun doesn't work in MMA. Right. And uh, do you want to know your opinion about it? My opinion is, well, every Wing Chun guy that you see go to MMA, um, even amateur level, they always lose, right? So I can see why people say that. But if you look at most MMA fighters, same as any professional fighters, right? You yeah. train Professional guys train about 40 hours a week. Most Wing Chun students that I've met anyways, they train about two nights a week. They make log in about three or four hours of training a week, right? So you compare a guy that trains 40 hours, you compare a guy that trains four hours, of course you're gonna see a big difference in their performance, right? That's the first thing. Second thing is, if you look at MMA's history, I remember in the 90s, 92, 91, when it first started out, Jiu-Jitsu guys were winning and all strikers lost, right? You can look at USC 1, 2, 3, right? So they say boxing doesn't work, kickboxing doesn't work, no striking works. That's what they were saying back then, right? And slowly, and it was true, the strikers were losing. But what happens over time is when you throw the strikers in UFC, they started to adapt. Anytime you use something, in this case for MMA, and you start losing, if you're smart, you gotta adapt and change your game, right? So slowly, strikers were winning. And as we know nowadays in MMA, everyone does striking and they do um, grappling, right? So it's the same as when they say, traditional karate would never work in MMA, blah, 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 right? But as we know now, there's a very successful fighter from karate, but he didn't do pure karate. When he decided to use karate in MMA, he had to change his game. And little by little, He's very successful. I forgot his name because I don't follow him very much, but I, I watched him fight in MMA and he did really well, right? And I was a karate guy. So same as Wing Chun, of course they're losing, but if someone was training 40 hours a week and used Wing Chun in MMA, then probably over a long time, he will adapt and change his game too and he'll start winning, right? So that's the same with any style, right? And it would be the same as like, and that actually happened in the history of Wing Chun anyways. Like you look at, Learn Jen, right? Uh, Yip Man Si Gong, he had a lot, about 300 fights, they say. And by the time he was done, his Wing Chun was very different. He modified it a lot, right? And what he's teaching later on. Same thing with Wong Shun Lung, he had a lot of fights, right? Very successful, never got defeated. And he changed his Wing Chun every time. Like he get hit low and he brought back the Gonzo in the form, right? So that's one example. Or Bruce, he changed his stuff a lot. Like in Seattle, he fight a karate guy. And then he almost got hit when he was countering. And then the next day, he started working on preemptive striking and closing because he couldn't make counter work as thought as he could have. So what I mean is, anytime people fight, they will screw up here and there because we're human. And anytime you screw up, you learn, adapt, and change, right? So that's no different. It's the same as the MMA guy. He might be really tough and that's great, but if he moved to a country where most of the fights is a blade culture and people are, most fights are with knives, all of a sudden his stuff doesn't work, right? And he would have to change to make it work. Right? So rather than use Wing Chun for MMA or self-defense, the learning curve for most humans is the same. You first start off not doing so well, and then as you use it more, trial and error, you'll naturally adapt because nobody likes to lose, right? So let's say if you want to use Wing Chun for self-defense, it's the same thing. You will have to start looking at self-defense situation. What do you do if a guy shove a gun in your face? What do you do if a guy pulls a knife and comes in rushing you? What do you do if three guys try to jump you? So now, if you start using your Wing Chun for those situations, again, through trial and error, you will naturally change your game. Bottom line is, if you actually use the stuff, the stuff will demand you to change. People that resist change is usually people that never use their stuff. Right? So if you did it for a hobby, you're not gonna change much because you're not gonna use it much. Right? But to me, the most important thing is not pointing your finger and saying, this guy doesn't work, that stuff doesn't work. Anybody can judge, right? Anyone can break things. Not many people can fix things, right? So that takes brain. It takes no talent to say something doesn't work, but it takes a lot of talent to make something that doesn't work into something that works. And those are the pioneers, right? Those are the guys that go in the front lines, use the stuff, come back, make some mistakes, correct it, change it and evolve. And I think that's a better spirit of looking at martial arts. Okay.